Well, a group of actors in Los Angeles, deeply informed by spending over an hour on Twitter, have banded together to produce a video supporting Christine Ford and demanding a halt to Brett Kavanaugh's confirmation of the Supreme Court. Watch. We know how difficult it is to stand up to powerful people. He should not be confirmed. He should not be confirmed. He should not be confirmed. I don't know any of those people. You probably don't either. Dean Cain does, though. He's yeah. an actor and producer. He's from Los Angeles. His dad was in the business. He joins us tonight. What do you make of that? Oof. Wow. Uh, look, sexual assault. I feel for any victim for sure. of sexual assault. No question. Male or female. But that is just completely political. Where, where, where's the uh, video for Karen Monaghan? You know, Keith, Keith Ellison's accuser. Where's, where's yes. the full-length movie for the Bill Clinton accusers? It, it just doesn't exist. It's completely political. And, and that's kind of tragic because sexual assault is a very serious, very serious thing. And it, and it kind of cheapens it because they're doing this specifically for political well, reasons. Well, it's such a good point. I mean, it, these are not standards they apply equally. So Kermit Gosnell was an abortion doctor in Philadelphia who abused, well, killed a bunch of viable Hundreds children. Of right, but also abused all these women. People tried to make a movie about it in Los Angeles, and not everyone was on board. You actually did make we the movie did it. about it. What was uh, the reaction? Well, first of all, we had to raise the money on Indiegogo because nobody would pay for it. We, we did that, and we made the film, and I think it's a very good film. It comes out October 12th, um, and nobody would put it out there. Nobody would distribute it, so we finally found distribution. So two years ago, we finished the film. Now we can tell the story, and it's, it's because it deals with abortion. We couldn't even buy ad time on NPR because we called him an abortion doctor. We had to call him just a doctor. So even nobody wants to touch it. All he did was commit abortion. I mean, he wasn't, he wasn't doing appendectomies. No, he was also uh, pushing drugs and got busted on a narcotics charge. That's how it started. But this are, guy you was, wor are you worried about... I mean, that's one subject that you're kind of not allowed to deviate from the prevailing view. Are you concerned no, for yourself? Not at all. I, you know, uh, I'm, I'm of a certain age now where I'm not that concerned about I'm going to tell stories that I want to tell. I'm not worried about if it has a rep repercussion on my, on my job or my hiring. It should never do that to tell stories. And we're telling a true story. This happened. I play a real-life detective, James Wood, and this happened. And, and the way yeah. we tell the story, we don't take a side on it. I actually am pro-choice, which shocks people to a degree up until viability of a child. I, then, by then, I, I can't. I hope. I, I, would never, I would never abort my own child. I would never want that. But I'm not going to tell somebody what they can do with their body. And that surprised a lot of people that I would make this film. But I think the film, the film is hugely important and should get out there and people should make up their own minds. Man, I, I hope that all of our viewers watch this movie. I'm going to watch the movie, and I think, I think you're a brave man for doing it. Thank you, Tucker. By the way. Because that is, everybody who spent a lot of time living in liberal America, where I live and where you live, you know that's the one subject you can't, you can't have your own views on. No, absolutely not. Well, good for you. Dean Kane. it is great to see you. Thanks, Tucker. Thank you.